Assalamualaikum, my name is Siti Fakihah Binti Muhammad Rosli. My metric number is 060132. Today, I would like to give justification about server room as we can see on the screen. The hospital plans that I have is at the server room location. Why did I choose this room location? This is because the room is bigger than others. The size of a server room must be big enough to accommodate needed equipment and enable IT personnel to rearrange is due to changing business demand and technology. The size of the room depends on the KW loads of the installed equipment, but it's usually in the 50 to 100 watt square foot range. Next, I choose this also because it is safe from exposure to fires, floods, explosion, and other similar hazards. Because most servers are very sensitive to environmental conditions, it's important to monitor factors like temperature and humidity very carefully. Hi, my name is Nur Ain Binti Zulisham. My metric number is 060096. Now, I would like to give a justification for rotors and switches. For rotors, it's best to move and place the rotors into a high place such as in the server room and keep the rotor away from brick, stone or concrete walls as much as possible to optimize the signals because it's easy for the rotors to send the signal out in all directions. Rotors tend to propagate the signal downwards, so it is best to install the rotor as high as possible to maximize coverage. So, in this case, the appropriate location for the rotor in the server room that requires a strong network to enter and store patient data. Other than that, a suitable rotor that can be used is a wireless rotor. It is because wireless rotor can help direct the signal to users into the maximum performance. Next, for the switches, I decide to put three switches in this hospital. First, in the server room, because the server room is a suitable place to make one of the switches as a core switch. Other than that, the server room also is the place that needs a high temperature to keep this device. For the other two switches, I place them in the lobby and the reception area. I decided to put these two devices in this area to make it easier for the doctor and nurses to do their daily routine work such as key in and update the patient data in the hospital database. All these two switches can be a backup switch from exposure to threats such as natural disasters, power outages, accidental damage and cyber attacks. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi, my name is Nur Haswani. I will talk about the location of wireless access point. As you can see in the picture shown, I have placed 17 access points at the strategic place and wherever Wi-Fi are used to purpose. This can be as a result of the primary rule of proper access point placement is to see the locations where Wi-Fi networks will be used the most, such as doctor room, reception, medical consultation, restroom, and office. The reasons why I place the access point at distances is that overlap with other access points can be avoided and the signal can be put strongly. Next, having too many access points to latch onto means one access point is wasted. The access points could interfere with the other access point both above and below, whether they are on the same channel or adjoining channels. Meanwhile, I have placed the access point in locations that are easy to access and configure. The access point were in a non-congested and easy for the technical team to configure it. Since hospitals tend to have a lot of large equipment that throws out a lot of electromagnetic interference and those can quickly read a Wi-Fi signal. Hence, I'm avoiding putting the access point in the room where the hospital equipment could interrupt or block the signal such as room number 7 and 8. That's all from me, thank you. Next, for the cabling and types of cable used at each connection. Without connecting one component of a network with another, it is a pretty much useless. In our design, we use UTP, unshielded twisted pair cables to connect the network to the router. 
the router to the switch, the switch to the server and the switch to the end device. We choose UDP cable because of its interference cancelling capabilities. We use CAT6 grade cable because they have a maximum transmission speed of 1000 Mbps per 100 meters. The cost differences between CAT5E and CAT6 grade cable is a minimal. The primary differences between a CAT5 versus CAT6 cable is not only higher speed but reduced crosstalk. Crosstalk increase error among other loss packet issue. So it is a wise choice to choose CAT6 cable for our network. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and greetings. My name is Muhammad Shabil bin Muhammad Zainur and my metric number is 061575. Next question is indication of parts of the network that need triple redundancy and their justification. For me to go further into the question, it will be necessary for me to explain the meaning of redundancy. Redundancy is an engineering term which means the duplication of critical components or functions of a system with the intention of increasing reliability of the system, usually in the form of a backup or failsafe, or to improve actual system performance. In this case of ours, it simply means adding a duplicate device or component within the system. This steps in when a primary device or a component fails. The goal is to ensure zero downtime. The term redundancy is used because if everything is working correctly, the duplicate device does nothing. It is therefore redundant. Back to the question, parts of the network that need triple redundancy are servers. To enable this, a duplicate of the server is created with the same computing power, storage, applications, and other operational parameters. A redundant server is kept offline. That is, it powers on with network or internet connectivity, but it's not operational along with the main server. In case of failure, downtime or excessive traffic at the primary server, a redundant server can be implemented to take the primary server's place or share its, its load. This is quite a brilliant option to counter almost any form of disaster. However, the downside is it triples the cost of your server solution in the first place and triples your running costs. Plus, you need the space for extra servers. This might well be impractical and overkill, but considering hospitals are part of the critical industry where they need to ensure a high form of availability and reliability of the implemented system, this is a good long-term investment. The other parts that need triple redundancy are switches and routers. It involves a process through which additional or alternate instances of network device are installed within network infrastructure. It is a method for ensuring network availability in case of a network device or path failure. As such, it provides a means of network failover. It is implemented in network infrastructure to provide a redundant source of network communications. It serves as a backup mechanism for quickly swapping network operations onto redundant infrastructure in the event of unplanned network outage. It is achieved through the addition of alternate network paths. When the primary path is unavailable, the alternate path can be instantly deployed. This ensures minimal downtime and continuity of network services. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Shafiq bin Sulaiman. I will be discussing the question number seven. I'm sorry, number six. First of all, we will be we will discuss the appropriate topology for the design of this building. The full mesh topology. It's theoretically is a full mesh topology which allow each device in the network to have a direct connection with all of the other devices. However, it is quite expensive and full mesh is difficult to implement and to be configured. Not to be forgotten, a triple redundancy accuracy is high in this full mesh topology. Star topology as for the connection from the server to the routers. The reason we propose the star topology for this project is, is if a single node in the network 
is failed. It doesn't shut down all of connection is once. This topology also can be reduced cost by making the network management much easier to be configured. Next best topology would be the third topology which is uh, basically a connection of task topology and also the one that can be considered to be done in the hospital network in the ring, is the ring topology. Okay, we continue about hardware that we will propose for the hospital network of course firstly we must have the server absolutely we want a server to run smoothly and can last long server that i would like to propose dell power h r740 rack server it is quite costly with the price tag is around 60,000 ringgit of course the spec of the server will perform really well to handle the network that will occur in the hospital part okay the second part is a router for this hardware we will propose the best well-known brand which is a SS the R the rtac 88 u it has a powerful 1.4 gigahertz and half core of processor that can provide faster usb data transfer up to 100 megabar megabytes per second i'm sorry and uh, the throughput of this router it can go slightly up to 1.8 giga, giga, gigabit per second the price of this hardware is 700, 700 ringgit per unit i think that price would be okay the, se the next part is switch we propose the best switch with the best switch which is a TLSG116 60 port gigabyte switch with a price tag around 300 ringgit per unit it has featured with 10 mbps 100 or up to 1000 mbps this switch greatly expand the network capacity beside of enable enabling enabling i'm sorry enabling instant large file transfer next we need wireless access point we choose the brand tp link which is eap254 i'm sorry 25245 access point this access point can have up to 1750 megabits per seconds data throughput it also come in dual band which is 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz that surely be enough to provide the hospital network the price tag around 400 ringgits is still affordable for the consideration to make a hospital network last but not least the connector for all the hardware which is the cable that will be used so we proposing the prolink cat 6 utp network cable with the price tag which is around 350 ringgit per unit okay with they all being said i'm going to propose in the network to is to have one server three routers three switch and 10 access point and also six boxes of cable all all this will cost us around eighty thousand ringgit it is super expensive to have a network and i think that is all from me thank you